Without a doubt, the Siberian Husky is an alluring dog, but before you make the commitment, it's essential to know that Siberian Huskies are not for everyone. In fact, this breed is one of the most challenging dogs you could get. Keep watching to learn why the Siberian Husky might not be the right pet for you. Huskies require a high amount of exercise. How much might actually shock you. A husky should get at least two hours of high-intensity exercise per day, preferably split up into two equal sessions, one in the morning and the other in the evening. If that surprises you, know that the typical Siberian husky can run 40 miles in a single day, while sled-trained huskies can run over 100 miles daily. Bred for their long-distance sled hauling, it's no wonder these high-energy dogs have plenty of stamina. The good news is that Siberian huskies enjoy just about any any activity, from running to playing fetch and hiking. If you're unable to give your dog the exercise it needs, you should definitely look for another breed. This leads us to number two. Siberian Huskies are prone to destructive behavior. However, it's not their fault. Siberian Huskies were bred to run over long distances and to have a job. They need plenty of mental stimulation and physical exercise. So it's no wonder a bored Siberian Husky will become frustrated and destructive. Plus, they hate being alone. Therefore, it's crucial to ensure you have plenty of toys and activities for your Husky to stay busy. They require a significant amount of socialization. Siberian Huskies thrive when interacting with other dogs and people, so getting them to meet other dogs should be pretty easy. The bad news, however, is that they could become destructive and depressed if left alone for a long time. Siberian Huskies feel their best in boisterous and active households and prefer having other canine companions. Training this breed is tough. Siberian Huskies are one of the most challenging breeds to train, and that's not because of their intelligence level. They're actually pretty smart, but they're very independent. This breed indeed has a high drive to work, but is very stubborn. Siberian Huskies were bred to sled with minimal directions, so they prefer to rely on their instincts rather than listening to you. That is great if you're out in the wild, but not so much if you live a modern lifestyle. You'll need to be very patient and consistent, and start from a very early age. Also, you might need professional help. It should be clear by now, if you're looking for a low-maintenance dog, this breed isn't for you. Huskies and cats don't make a good match. If it's small and isn't a dog, your husky will not show any mercy. Most Siberian huskies have a high prey drive and will chase and kill small animals. So if you have cats or other non-canine pets, you shouldn't get a husky. And if you have a husky and other pets, don't let your husky unsupervised near them, as you never know when its instinct might kick in. The Siberian Husky is an escape artist. Siberians were bred to run, and will do so at every opportunity. It's vital to keep this dog on a leash, in a harness, or in a fenced yard at all times. It's okay to have trust issues with this dog. Plus, Siberian Huskies are notorious for escaping from yards and running away. You can avoid this by having a high-quality fence and being diligent about regular exercise and training. In short, if you're not serious about keeping your Siberian Husky occupied and supervised, it's almost guaranteed that they'll find a way to escape. Huskies are very vocal. While training might diminish this breed's barking tendencies, it's unfair to expect your husky to be silent. Keep this in mind if you want one. They have increased maintenance grooming needs. This breed has a thick double coat, which makes it more susceptible to mats and tangles than other dogs with short coats. Siberian dogs should be groomed anywhere between once a week at minimum to every day during the shedding season. On the bright side, they are a low-odor breed, requiring only a few baths a year. Huskies shed a lot. There will probably be hair everywhere, even if you regularly groom your husky. They're also not a good choice for people allergic to dogs. Huskies don't enjoy the heat. Because Siberian Huskies have such thick coats, they are more likely to get heat strokes. They also tend to be apathetic when it's hot. It's important to groom them regularly and keep them out of the sun in the summer. If summers are really hot where you live, you should keep your Siberian Husky indoors with the AC on. If you're unable to do that, look for another dog. It's not fair to force a snow-loving Husky to be miserable. Consider your lifestyle before getting a Siberian Husky. This breed is incredibly high maintenance regarding exercise requirements and socialization needs. Huskies are also independent and can be very difficult to train. They can make excellent pets only if you have the time and energy required for a Siberian Husky. Please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more dog videos.